everywhere you go, all you hear is husband material this, wife material this. Guys are asking, are you wife material? Women are asking, are you husband material? Like that's something that you hear people saying a lot. So I said, let's sit down. Let me sit down. Let's talk about the concept of husband and wife material. I would say our society has drawn like a standard of what they look at as husband material and wife material. And we're going to be talking about all that in this video. So if you'd like to see what I think about this whole husband, wife material thing, just keep watching. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna. Please click on that subscribe button before you start watching because you could watch, get carried away and go without clicking on the subscribe button. Please guys, every time you see I just posted a video, if you have time, just go ahead and click on it and watch because in that way, YouTube knows that this particular content that this person has put out, a lot of people are interested in it. So YouTube is going to push the video more. Do not forget to click on the like button as well. Okay, so let's go straight into our video. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about the concept of husband and wife material. What is this? Like, where is this even coming from? Like, <laughs> there are so many things coming up these days that I don't even know where it's coming from, how it started and all that. I'll be looking at how our society sees it like what is husband material what is wife material according to our society i would say husband material according to our society is going to be a man that can provide for his family that can provide for his wife take care of his family and all that that is why you notice that a lot of times when a guy gets up and he's like he wants to get married people start asking do you have money can you take care of yourself and someone extra when a lady says she wants to get married to this guy the first thing that the family is always asked is what does he do what does he do for a living where does he live what kind of job does he do and things Things like that because in our society it is the man's role to provide because yes we have a very gender role based society right while when it comes to wife material our society looks at someone who is wife material like a lady who can take care of the home basically you can cook you can clean you can wash you can manage your space as a woman properly that is what it is that is why you see certain cases where a guy is going to introduce his wife to his family the mother is expecting her to start washing plates on the first day and start sweeping which i feel is stupid but that's not what we're talking about today so let me not go there. Anyway, so I feel like that is a perfect example of the whole husband and wife material thing. But what I think personally is when it comes to this whole husband and wife material thing, the values depend on who is looking. Like when, when I say who is looking like, okay, can I, I want to get married. Who is the best fit for me? Who is my perfect husband material? That is how I see. I don't feel like there is a particular thing that you have to get you have to have for you to be good wife material or good husband material. It's just like red flags. Everybody has their red flags. Somebody will be seeing this as red while the next person is seeing it as green, right? So that is how I see it. So for me, if I say I wanted to get married, my husband material will come from my list that I made. Like he should be handsome, tall, money, this one, that one, and all that, right? That is who my husband material is, though the society would see things in another way. So I really, sometimes I feel really odd when I see people saying like, he's not husband material because of this he's not I'm like it's not you to tell me who is the perfect husband material to me and all that and I feel like because of this whole thing especially when it comes to women a lot of the women who are not domesticated because whether we like it or not in our African society when they say you are a wife material it's generally somebody who is domesticated right who like I said you can take care of the kids cook clean wash do this so generally in our society, when we see now these women who really don't fall in that box, right? Who probably, I, I have friends for, of mine, for example, who do not like cooking. They don't like cleaning. They don't like doing any of those things. They're just like, it's not their thing. They turn to sometimes shame some of the women who do some of these things, like these domesticated things, like the whole wife material thing. You see a lot of women saying things like, I cannot cook for him. I cannot clean for him. Like, no, we both will cook together. We both will clean. I don't like to cook i don't like to clean and they take offense when they see a woman who says with your pride and joy like oh this is what i do a good example is this woman on tiktok she has been trending for weeks today she's called nara smith for me i don't find anything wrong with her like i feel like to each their own this lady or if you have no if you don't know who nara smith is just go to tiktok and search for nara smith like this woman <laughs> i'll call her wife material one million yards she's the topest of wife material in the world like this lady she makes 
a lot of DIY. She'll make her own cheese. Make, she made her own cornflakes. She does everything from scratch. She has her own little farm. She'll go and harvest her strawberry. But guys, a lot of ladies on TikTok are bashing her. Okay, we, she has some ladies on the other side who are like, Nara, mm -mm, she's doing too much. And then we have some other ladies who are like, oh, this is nice. See guys, if I had the strength, I would like to be like Nara Smith because that's what brings me joy. Okay, that's what brings me joy. Like I like to cook. I like to clean. I like to just arrange my space. I will not go and start talking to a girl who is more of a career woman who really doesn't like to do those things, who would prefer to pay somebody to do those things. I will not go to start shaming that girl because you're not doing things, the things that I like to do or you're not doing the things that our society sees as wife material and all that. I'm not going to do that. Like to each their own, leave everybody to do whatever thing they want to do because something that keeps happening that I've noticed these days is that a lot of women online will be dragging women who are like okay i want to take care of my house take care of my kids and do this a lot of them will be trashing women like that like you're doing too much don't do it another example the lady on twitter who said that she started making breakfast every day for her husband because she noticed that the husband's colleague was bringing a spoon for him to come and eat with her and she was like no 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 i'll start for me i really don't have any problem i always say to each their own if I have decided that I want to get up every day at 5 a.m. whether I'm pregnant or not to cook, clean, cook for my husband, make my husband's favorite meal and give to him. It is nobody's business. Just leave me to handle things that I want to handle them. You don't have any place to come now and sit and start telling me I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much for who? For me, as long as it's not something that... I'm doing out of my will. Like, it's not something that my husband came. I was like, Kenna, you have to be doing this. If you don't do this to me, I'll be angry. And as long as it's something that I'm doing it from my heart, it's what makes me happy. You don't have any business coming to tell me that you're doing too much. She's doing too much. What is your problem? You get? So we, this is something that we keep seeing happen over and over again where you have a lot of women who, let me just say career women or independent women as they call themselves, would sit and feel like, no, you, you're doing too much because you're trying to be there 110% for your family because you have decided to be the domesticated woman, if I may put it like that. We even have some women who are career women who will still manage the two. Even when I was working, right, you needed to see me. I was getting so tired sometimes because I get up in the morning. Normally, my nanny will come at eight. So what do I do? I wake up in the morning. I cook. I cook before going. I wash. I bathe the kids. I do their breakfast. We go and drop them in school, come back. I take my bath and I go to work. When I come back in the evening, my nanny leaves this house by five. By five that she leaves, the most she can do is just bathe the kids, which means in the evening, I have to still do their dinner, pack their lunch bags, do everything, okay? Do everything before leaving them to go. That is what I like, cause sometimes I spoke to friends and they were like, Kenna, but if you're getting tired, leave it. I'm like, okay, I could still leave it, but I, even though I'm complaining, I like to do it, you get. So as long as I'm not complaining about it, it's, it's fine. I like, I don't see any problem with it. The issue is, when you're complaining about it, like, oh my God, I hate doing this thing. I hate it. And then your partner is not helping you or supporting you. You're just doing everything. You're breaking down. So I just feel like we should just, first of all, calm down. It's true. The society has said, this is what wife material is. This is what husband material is. But at the end of the day, the partner, the person that is looking for a wife or the person that is looking for a husband knows what best is husband or wife material to them. If you are the kind of girl who doesn't see yourself like that kind of wife, wife material, like according to you, you are not the kind of girl that wants to cook clean and wash good and fine. You're definitely going to find someone that works for you. The same as if you are the kind of girl who likes to cook, wash and clean to you, that's you being the perfect wife material. Do you baby, do what makes you happy. I have issues with guys who actually meet women who are, you know that this woman does not, she told you she doesn't like to cook, she doesn't like to clean. This is her, that is how she is. Take it or leave it. You decide to pretend that you want to take it. And then when you have her now, you want to start forcing her. Oh, but you're a bad wife. Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? If you looked at your own list of who a wife material is, and it was all those things, why then did you go now to go and pick this other girl from somewhere to come and be disturbing her? to tell her to be a wife material. No, 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 please. And it goes same to the women when it comes to men. If to you, you know that the only 
idea of a husband material to you, somebody who can provide. And you see this guy who is struggling. He doesn't have his own. He's feeding hand to mouth. Don't go to him. Go and look for somebody because even people who are who are feeding from hand to mouth, they are still providers. I know people who don't have money, but they will still provide. They will not sleep. Men, I know men who will not sleep if their families do not eat. So if you feel like when they say provider, it means the man is for you. When you say you want a provider, the provider should be somebody who has 10 million. My auntie, please go and look for somebody who has 10 million because we also have girls who will sit and they're like, no, uh, I want a provider and all that. You go now and go and get married to somebody who does not have all that. Then you start harassing him and pushing him. You have to work. You're being lazy. You have to, you have to, you have to. If it was easy, why are you complaining that you're suffering? Why are you not going as well to go and look for the thing? No, he's the provider. Your own job is to support him. I'm just like, see. So yeah, guys, this is what I think about this whole husband material, wife material thing. What do you think? Do you agree with me when I say that everybody has their type? Like husband material your wife man, is not a particular standard it's true that society has said that this is when, when they say a good wife this is what it's supposed to be and a bad wife that is what it's supposed to be do you agree that it depends on the person that is looking and what the person wants because you could be have a woman who cleans washes does that but the man is not having peace in his house because she's nagging she's like she's stressing him out okay you will not call that woman oh she's good wife material because she's doing that she's rude she's looking for trouble here and there you will not call her a good wife material because of that so if you ask that man who is a good wife material he'll be like okay somebody who gives him peace for example so what do you guys think about this i don't know if this video made any sense anyway let me know in the comment section let's talk more about this what do you think about this whole thing tell me what you think um thank you guys very much for watching this and i am going to see you on my next one okay guys love you Bye. Mwah.